Hey my loves, welcome back to Between Us Tarot. I hope you guys are having an amazing day so far. Whenever you come across this video, and as you can see, we are going to be doing our weekly check-in to see how is it that your person is thinking and feeling about you and this connection. Um, so yeah, my loves, we're going to get straight into it. For the question of the day, uh, I was just wondering what you guys are doing for New Year's. So... Yeah, if you guys have anything planned, or maybe you guys don't, and if you guys don't, that's totally fine. Um, you guys can definitely just chillax, and yeah, my loves, let me know down below what you guys have planned. But um, yeah, so let's get started. Let's go straight into it. So we have three beautiful piles in front of us here today. Okay, so we have pile one, pile two, and pile three. So for pile one, we have this amethyst pendant, okay? Um, yeah, it's like supposed to be part of a necklace. I just haven't attached it to a chain yet. But here is the pendant, the amethyst pendant. Okay, very beautiful crystal. And um, I actually was gifted this for Christmas from my friend Gwen. So thank you, Gwen, if you're watching. I love you. <laughs> uh, pile 2, I was actually gifted this by the same friend. It's a bracelet. I know that this is opalite and this is um, rose quartz. I'm not sure what these are, but yeah, loves. This is going to be the bracelet for pile two, okay? And for pile three, we have the Amazonite crystal, the heart-shaped crystal. Very beautiful crystal as well. So yeah, loves, um, take your time. If you guys feel called to more than one, then that's completely fine, okay? You can always see... Um, maybe you have to hear more than one message, so yeah, or both of them resonate, so... All right, my loves, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys some time to go ahead and pick your pile. All right, loves, and if you guys need more time, please feel free to pause the video, okay? I'm going to go straight into pile one. Okay, pile one for you guys that chose the amethyst pendant let's go ahead and see what is it that your person is currently thinking and feeling about you and this connection now i did pick out a message card for all three piles i just didn't have it um in the beginning i had them on the side so yeah you guys let's go ahead and start with that and we have secret admirer someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on so yeah loves i feel like your person <laughs> Um, I feel like your person, pile one, is, they do have a lot of feelings for you, okay, but they're just not letting you know about them as of right now, <laughs> for whatever reason. Um, yeah, we're gonna look at it deeper, but I do feel like they have really strong feelings for you, but they're not letting you know about them. They're definitely keeping it all within themselves, okay? Now, for others of you guys, it could be that maybe, um, for, and I feel like you'll know if this resonates. Um, for some of you guys, it could be if you have someone new in your life, okay? Um, but yeah, if you don't, then it's the person that you're definitely thinking about, okay? So let's go ahead and see what's going on. We have the world, the six of wands, the king of cups. This is beautiful energy. And then we have the ace of pentacles. Mm. Mm, very interesting pile one. And let me get the bottom of your deck. And I'm so sorry for the glare, you guys. Um, okay, so just give me a few seconds to look at this. All right, pile one. I have to say, I'm already loving your pile. <clears throat> All right, pile one. Yeah, this is very beautiful stuff, pile one. Um, 
So what your person is currently thinking and feeling about you, and I have to say, you guys, I feel like there's just a small portion of you guys. Um, for those of you guys, if this is a new person, I don't feel like uh, most of you guys will resonate with that message. I feel like for most of you guys, what I'm seeing is this is someone that you've already have been with, okay? Because I'm seeing past energy here too. So just keep that in mind for, but yeah. Um... So yeah, pile one, I'm seeing that your person has really, really, really strong feelings for you. We have the king of cups and you know, I have to say right away, I am seeing that they could be hiding their feelings from you because we have the secret admirer, okay? And we also have deception and envy. So you, yeah, you guys, I do feel like this person isn't letting you know how they're currently thinking and feeling about you, all right? Um, regardless of what's going on right now, you guys could be in contact or no contact. Um, but yeah, I, I definitely see that they're hiding that from you. But I just want to let you know, this person does have really, really, really strong feelings. And what I'm seeing is there is a cycle ending in, in your connection, okay? Um, so the cycle could be anything that's ending. It could be that this person has to end something in their lives in order to come towards you. Because I actually see that with the world card. Like, I do see a cycle ending and then I see someone um, charging forward, right? The Six of Wands is about someone being victorious. And um, like this person is very passionate and charging forward and they're charging for towards their feelings, you guys. So I feel like this person definitely wants to like be known to you. It's funny again, because you do have that secret admirer card, but the Six of Wands is someone that wants to stand out, okay? And I do feel, and it's not in a prideful way. I'm actually not picking that up from your person, but they do want to, they want you to know that they have feelings for you. So it might be right now that they're hiding it, but eventually what I'm seeing is like they do want to let you know that they have really strong feelings. In fact, we do have the, we even have the Ace of Pentacles here. So I'm even seeing that your person and currently right now they want growth they want growth in your connection and there's a lot of passion here you guys it's just um yeah i'm getting two messages with the world card is that they probably have to end something here okay and this ending could be anything pile one okay it's going to be different for all of you guys but yeah i definitely see that they and i do see a cycle ending so it could be a cycle ending of no communication it could be a cycle ending of them self-sabotaging it could be it, it could even be multiple cycles pile one okay um or i could, should even use the word phase okay but there is a phase ending within this connection so that there can be growth like i even see steps here which is really crazy like i see this cycle ending, them getting that courage to move towards you, them feeling their feelings, okay, and then that there's this, this new opportunity with you, okay, a chance for growth, a chance for these flowers to bloom. So pile one, like your person, that's how they're, like, I, I don't know why I'm getting the sense that this person is even thinking of this plan, okay, and it's funny because I, you know, the question isn't, what are their intentions or whatever, but I'm actually picking up intentions here at Pile One. So for you guys, for whatever reason, I feel like this person does have a plan um, and they're not letting you know about it. So just keep, it, just keep that in mind, okay? I feel like this is something that they want to let grow um, step by step. Yeah, Pile One. This is a... I'm, like I said, I'm already loving whoever picked my pile one. I'm already loving like what your person is thinking and feeling because it, I am seeing like a mature, I don't know. Let me know for some of you guys pile one if maybe you've, um, if you've seen a difference in your person or even if you haven't, maybe, uh, because yeah, for some of you guys pile one, I'm not seeing that they've let you known about this, but I do see your person growing. Like, that is another side message that Spirit is wanting you to know, Pile One, is that your person is maturing, um, especially with the way that they're thinking also. So this is very beautiful stuff, Pile One, okay? Um, interesting. <laughs> okay. Wow. Yeah. So I will say, Pile One, when it comes to your person's uh, feelings and like what they're thinking about you in this connection they do want to do all this as of right now we have the eight of swords so i feel like 
there the you know the eight of swords is very much that energy of being stuck in overthinking okay um it could be that they're like they're thinking about you know coming towards you this way and then they're just like bah. <laughs> it's almost like okay they have a plan in action but they're like but how do i do this like they're still like asking themselves like how do i move forward though like how do i make this happen because we still have the secret admirer card right and we still have that deception card so it's like they are thinking about this all right when it comes to coming towards you but they're also like trying to figure out how to take the mask off like they're overthinking it basically um they're making it way harder than what it is pile one Mm, I almost feel bad for this person because it really doesn't have to be that hard, but they, they are doing that themselves. They keep overthinking when they know that they just need to come towards you, okay? I feel like what the hard part is for them, I'll be very honest, is the world here. It's them um, ending ending these phases and ending these cycles. And I have to say, Pile One, you don't have to be worried about that um, happening because the universe will take care of that for you, really. I always tell my piles, especially when I see readings like these, like like this actually, especially, it's so beautiful. Um, keep doing you because the universe is taking care of how this person goes about their cycles and their phases that they need to end. And I definitely see divine intervention because we have the Wheel of Fortune as the overall energy, you guys, the overall. So I have to say, I really love this as well because that's showing me that, you know, there is divine timing at play. Um, these cycles, these phases will end when they're supposed to, and then this person will feel like they can come towards you when it's the right time. Um, yeah. Yeah, the divine are definitely making sure that nothing is done, like, prematurely, okay, or, like, too fast, too hasty, because that's not healthy either. Now, that's very interesting, because we have the Knight of Pentacles, um, above the Wheel of Fortune, so almost what I'm getting is, like, your person has this energy to just do it, right? To like come towards you, um, maybe even share their feelings and tell you that they want growth. But at the same time, what I'm seeing, like you guys might not like this, but I'm just going to be very honest. What I'm getting loves is that the divine is making this Knight of Pentacles energy. Um, it's They're making them be slow right now, okay? And the reason why, like, what I'm seeing here is because these cycles need to come to an end first. So, because what's the point of this person coming towards you, right? And, like, start having a new beginning because this is what's coming next, you guys. It's almost like in the underlying energy, I can see that this is what's going to come in the future, right? You have two aces, so there's definitely a new beginning here um, that is going to manifest. But obviously, pile one, if you want please don't ever think that like you guys this is you have to take this how's it how it resonates you guys um if you guys don't want a new beginning with this person then you don't right but what i'm seeing here is like yeah it's like what's the point of having a new beginning if this person is going to come in the same way that they were before does that make sense so yeah so the divine is really making sure that these cycles come to an end first and then and then that's when there can be growth, right? Um, and I don't know. I feel like the divine is going to be really proud. I, I am getting that with the six of wands. Like the divine is going to be really proud with these cycles and faces that come to an end. Like they're going to be really proud of your person from making this progress. I am getting some type of energy that um, for some of you guys... If you guys were in a relationship with this person beforehand, like in the past, there could have been deception, okay? And that deception can could have been any type of level. It could have been this person stepping out of their integrity a bit. It could have been this person um, cheating on you. It could have been this person just wearing a mask and not being vulnerable, okay? So it, like I said, loves, this is, this is the seven of swords. So it's that sneaky energy, okay? Like I said, for some of you guys, it could just be that this person wasn't telling you their full feelings, right, in the past, and that's kind of what got in the way of you guys getting closer to each other, okay? It got, it, it created, like, a block in the connection. <clears throat> so I am getting that for some of you guys. Anyways, that, that level of deception will be different for all of you guys, and what I'm seeing is that um, if you do choose this person to come back into your life, if you allow for this person to come back into your life, 
what I'm getting is that, yeah, there is going to uh, be a need for forgiveness here because we do have the forgiveness card. And this is very beautiful. Pile one. Again, it's always your choice. Always use your intuition. Okay. But I do see, um, I do see a beautiful relationship here, pile one. Okay. And I do see like, I'm not all airy fairy. You guys will hear me say that multiple times. If you're new here, hello, my loves. Thank you so much for joining. Um, but yeah, I don't like to give fluffy readings. Um, I don't like to say things that I don't see, but you guys will know if I see something bad, I'll tell you guys. And what I'm seeing is that this person is making a lot of progress, a lot of growth. Um, and this is something that can definitely be healthy in the future, like a healthy relationship if there was any sort of deception. And again, that could have been someone wearing a mask, someone stepping out of their integrity, okay? You take it as it resonates. But there is, yeah, yeah. Sometimes I like looking at this um, card underneath. This person looks at you as their wish fulfillment pile one, okay? You are their wish fulfillment. They want you. Um, and I can see, I can see it here. It, it, like just with these cards, like it's funny. Um, I love the, the other energies that we get, the crowning, the underlying, the overall, but just in these three cards, like, or these four cards really, there's just so much energy coming out of this. Like I didn't even have to look at these today for some reason. I, I don't think I've ever felt that in any reading that I've done before. Um, for the weekly readings from your person. So it's very strong energy that's coming just from from this here, from our main car tarot right here. Uh, yeah, you guys, it's like this person is telling you that eventually they do want a new beginning. And I feel like your person also knows that there's timing at play. Um, yeah, and they they are asking for forgiveness. I, I am seeing that this person is asking for forgiveness, you guys. Again, it's always your choice. Nothing is forced upon you, pile one, okay? I'm also, like I said, I'm also seeing that they're currently like overthinking how to come towards you, overthinking all of this. It doesn't have to be that hard, but that's okay. This is a phase that they need to go through. Um, another thing is that I am getting that like... I didn't even realize how I laid out the cards. Sometimes I like I just laid them out. I don't even realize how I do that um, with the Oracle. And I'm seeing the deception and envy guy look at the girl that same boundaries, right? So <laughs> I am seeing pile one that um, if you are with this person or if you have been with this person, they're very well aware that you are putting boundaries up this time, okay? Um, you've grown up. All right, you've learned, both of you guys have learned lessons, actually, because what I'm seeing here is that this person is taking off their mask to look at you, right? <laughs> so pile one, and that is what this person is like currently thinking and feeling as well as like, okay, you know, yeah, my person is putting out boundaries now, so I need to take off this mask. I need to act right. Um, I need to come in the right way. And that's why I'm seeing this energy up here. Like the Six of Wands, the King of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles. It's, it's like this person knows. They're very they're very aware as to how they have to come in. Okay. Um, this is very beautiful stuff, pile one. Like I just don't even know what to say. But yeah, currently, like I said, they are hiding their feelings. Some of them could be jealous. Okay. And I'm actually not getting jealous in like um, a bad way, like not that they're mad at you. So if you are dealing with someone like that pile one, I really don't think that this is your pile. Um, I just have to say it like I'm, I'm not seeing any bad energy here. This is someone that like if they are jealous, it's because they're jealous that, that they don't have you, okay? Um, yeah, it's not like I don't see this person coming out to get you. Like this, this person wants you. That's the only way that they want to get you is to like want. It's because they want you, not to get you in like a sta like a backstabbing way or anything like that, okay? Um, yeah. Yeah, you guys, I love this. I feel like, I feel like pulling out another card. Okay, give me one second. I don't know why you're, um, hold on, let's give me one second, because I didn't have this deck ready. I'm also seeing that this person could be checking up on your social media, okay? Um, 
yeah i don't know why i'm getting that message on the side but this person is definitely checking up on you that you're doing good now there's also a message here pile one that like if you haven't set boundaries i am seeing that when this person comes in it is going to be very beautiful there is like i'm, I'm telling you guys like this person definitely wants growth. They, they do want a new beginning with you. Absolutely. They are being a little slow about it, but it's actually not fully them because I see an energy of someone being impulsive, someone wanting to come running in. It's the divine that's doing this. They're controlling how fast this person makes moves. Okay. <clears throat> So, and divine timing is the perfect timing, pile one. So please just know that. But what I'm getting, pile one, is like, if you haven't set boundaries, when this person comes in, please do so. And I feel like you guys will hear me talk about boundaries too a lot on my channel. Boundaries have such a negative connotation and I'm not really sure why. Um, because like when you express your boundaries to someone, it doesn't have to be negative. It doesn't have to be in a nasty way and it doesn't have to be... Um, in a rude way. Um, so yeah, you and you have to understand that your person will also have boundaries as well, right? Both of you guys. So there is a nice way to talk. Like you guys are both adults, I hope. <laughs> um, yeah, you guys will have to have a way where both of you guys can talk about your boundaries, okay? And for those of you guys, if you do do that and your person doesn't respect your boundaries, okay? Or isn't willing to listen to them, then they're not ready for a connection. And vice versa, if you're not ready to listen to someone's boundary, it's the same thing, you guys. It's the same thing. So yeah, but I have to say, the like my feminine energy in pile one, you guys are very strong. Like the majority of my feminine energy in pile one, what I'm picking up is that you guys are very strong people. You guys have set your boundaries in a very healthy way. And I feel like pile one you let me know i feel like you're in an energy that you're ready to receive because like you have set your healthy boundaries you you've learned to love yourself you've learned to take care of yourself you, you've because i see a woman that like is very intuitive okay and you don't have to be a woman you guys it's just feminine energy okay guys can be in their feminine energy as well it's very beautiful um i'm seeing that you have courage you have wisdom you're very intuitive you're like you're ready like when you get back into this connection you don't have to be afraid of the old being repeated okay because your vib your vibration is at a whole nother level pile one okay i'm just telling you that right now your vibration is at a whole nother level so if this person wants to be with you their vibrations have to match the same way and that is what the divine is making sure like when they get to that that's when they can come in okay that's what they're saying it's like okay when we see that you're improving that's when you can be with my pile one <laughs> or else you're not you can't get to them <laughs> um yeah you guys I love it. But let's get another one. Yeah, pile one for some reason I'm seeing like very mature energy from my from my feminine energy here and it's it's very beautiful. You're very I'm seeing um feminine energy that's very sure of themselves and that's what's attracting this person back really is what I'm seeing as well. And they're in return you guys, you guys could be mirroring each other because these three cards is what's showing me that this person is going to come in when they're sure of themselves as well. That's what's going on. Is when this person is confident, that is when they're going to come in. And it's going to create this like, I don't know, beautiful equilibrium. Like a, a beautiful, balanced, harmonious connection, you guys. So let's get one more. How is this person currently thinking and feeling? Pile one. One. we have building blocks yeah this person is gonna have to take um i just noticed too i get so many messages i'm so sorry you guys um we have the number seven here and then we have the number 25 which also adds up to the seven so seven is all about like spirituality you guys so i definitely see healing here there's a lot of healing pile one there's a lot of healing that's taking place within you and this person. So it's just really, it's just divine timing. Um, yeah. Yeah, you guys. You know, I have to say, I got like... <laughs> 
with your person's current like thoughts and feelings like i said that i do feel like they love you we have the king of cups um and their thoughts are to come towards you that is what i'm seeing so it's just divine timing has to come to play here um when we have building blocks yeah this person is thinking to take it step by step when they build this connection again so like i said for some of you guys it's not going to be like they come in and poof um like they want to be with you again for some of them they might come in a little bit like maybe for some of you guys they, they could come back in like as a friend okay for some of you guys now i will say if you are with this person already okay um I don't know why there's more messages coming through for some of you guys. Yeah, if you're with this person already in a relationship, I do see that they are ending cycles so that they can slowly open up to you. But I do see eventually that they will. Um, it could be that right now they're wearing a mask, okay? But I do see that they eventually will. So with both scenarios, pile one, I do see that happening. Um, it, yeah, this is pile one. If you pick this pile, this is definitely a connection that is going to be built step by step. But that's that's what's the beauty of it, pile one, is it's building a strong foundation. And like I was saying earlier, um you know, what's the point of rushing it if it's going to come crumbling down, right? You do want that strong foundation. And sometimes to build a strong foundation, it does take time. All right, pile one. So um, yeah, but that is how currently how your person is thinking and feeling is they want to take that mask off. They want to come towards you. Um, they're getting there slowly, but they definitely want to come towards you, pile one. And, and they do want to apologize for all the times that they've hurt you. I do see that as well. So, yeah, pile one, um, I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that, all right? I'm going to go and move on to my pile two, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, my loves. Hey, my last for you guys that sh um, chose pile two let's go ahead and see what is it that your person is currently thinking and feeling about you and this connection all right love so um yeah i picked out these heart-shaped messages for every pile but i had them on the side here so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys we have look look deep within your heart and you will feel my love my love for you is as deep as the ocean all right, my loves, this is a very beautiful pile, you guys. Very beautiful pile. Yes, I feel like your person is already saying that, like, for some of you guys, it could be that you guys are in no contact. I am getting that because of this, like, this message itself is like this person is telling you to look with deep, deep within your heart when you're missing them, okay? Um, because nothing can truly separate you and this person, you guys, all right? You guys are, excuse me, you guys are definitely connected. Um, but let's go ahead and see. It doesn't have to be the case for all of you guys, okay? If you guys are in separation. Some of you guys could be together already. Or maybe this is a long distance connection if you guys are already with this person. But we have the Ace of Cups. We have the Wheel of Fortune. We have the Queen of Cups and we have the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. Beautiful energy. Wow, I really love this. Okay. Let me get the bottom of your deck, you guys. Yeah, I, yeah. I thought pile one was nice, but this is beautiful. This is very beautiful, pile one, or pile two. Okay, so how is it that this person, how are they currently thinking and feeling? Well, I have to say, pile two, this person really wants, um, 
you guys have a beautiful connection i can already see that again whether you guys are in contact or no contact i am seeing that This person definitely wants to offer you some love, okay, with this Ace of Cups. They do want um, a connection with you, Pile 1. That is what I'm getting, or Pile 2. Why do I keep saying Pile 1? I'm so sorry. Pile 2. I do see that that is something that they want, is they want a connection with you. Now, I feel like there's definitely a sense of someone being tired of waiting, okay? So that could be you or that could be the other person. So there is waiting involved here. Again, I don't know if you guys haven't seen each other in a long time. Maybe you guys have never met up before. Or for some of you guys, um, it's just waiting to get back together or something like that, okay? But there is a message here about that. And no wonder with the message that your person uh, came out today, right? Um, to look deep within your heart because I feel like this is the wheel of fortune this is beautiful because it's divine intervention right it's divine timing as well and this woman is just she has her like her head her face in her hands like I'm tired like I just don't want I don't want to wait anymore like this is exhausting um and it's funny because we have the seven of pentacles and the seven of pentacles is another card of waiting and this person's like looking back like to see when is everything growing so i'm getting two different messages pile too okay it's like i do see someone really tired here again that could be both of you guys or that could be your person because this is your person's current thoughts and feelings right so i do sense that they're tired of waiting um however there is a message like a side message from spirit saying that there's actually not going to be a lot more waiting so pile two i'm just saying uh heads up okay because if you really resonate with these messages, um, like I get different things all the time. Like pile one, I still saw that there was some waiting, but for you guys, pile two, there is something about things are about to speed up. All right. And I don't mean to scare you, but I'm just letting you know that is something that I'm seeing is that this, this new, um, this love between you and your person pile two it, it's gonna speed up sooner than you think i don't know why that's coming out but i am seeing that for sure for sure um so yeah loves and with the queen of cups you guys it's like this person really does view you as someone so sweet someone so compassionate someone so loving like i feel like this person isn't is in awe of you honestly like how is how is he or she so sweet how is he or she like how do they even exist how are they just so amazing um that's what i feel like this person is saying about you like they just look at you as so divine and so pile two you could have been someone that transformed a lot okay or you helped transform others is what i'm seeing because there is a swan here in the background okay hovering over the queen of cups and it's like you embody that energy is you're able pile two you have the ability almost to like take people's masks off okay um just with who you are as yourself like you're so loving you're so nurturing and so compassionate um, I was going to say nourishing. <laughs> maybe you are very nourishing. Um, you like to feed others, maybe. But, um, or maybe you like to feed your person some good food. But um, that's just another message. But pile two, it's like, yeah, I, I am seeing that this is, this is, like, your, I don't know, your person's feelings are very pure, very loving towards you, you guys. Um, and there's just, they don't want to wait. Like, the energy that I'm getting from them is, like, they don't want to wait another second to be with you, to touch you, to hold you, okay? Um, can you guys hear the sirens in the background? Yeah, that was, like, an ambulance. I feel like you guys... Yeah, I feel like this person is really, like, tired of waiting. Um, they just, like... Maybe for some of them, they feel like it's an emergency. <laughs> like, ah. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. You guys, this is amazing. Because we have the Three of Wands here. And this guy is like... Like, Three of Wands is all about the future. And, like, I'm seeing a person 
like so close to reaching their goals and it's like I'm so close I can almost taste it like I can literally almost touch it like I'm seeing so much emotion in this guy's face as well um like they just kind of want to cry like I'm, I'm literally like I'm almost there so pile two this person is hungry like they are very very hungry to reach you to hold you to touch you I'm actually getting pretty emotional with this pile because I don't think I've had a pile like this in forever. If, yeah, um, yeah, you guys, it's very, it's it, it's very deep. Look at this underlying energy is the Empress. So, and I have to say, the Empress and the Queen of Cups to me are like almost very the same energy. It's just that the Empress is the major arcana. So this is like, you know, the wife. So it could be, like. In their subconscious mind, this person has already made you their wife, okay? Or husband, whoever is watching, it doesn't matter. You don't have to be a woman. So your wife or husband, this person looks at you like that. Um, you are a co-creator. They see you as someone that is that is able to manifest whatever it is that they want. Um, your person also finds, finds you very, very beautiful, you guys. And we have the high priestess as the overall energy. So... Um, gosh look at this the ten of cups yeah you guys get ready because i feel like for whoever picked pile two it's 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 very close like you guys are very close i'm gonna repeat myself again because that is just a message that is coming through is that i do feel this is going to be very unexpected pile two um i don't know why i'm getting that you're not with your person so if you are pile two I mean, you can be in a relationship with them, but I feel like you guys are apart somehow. Like with the Eight of Cups as the crowning energy, I do feel like this could be long distance or this is someone that you're manifesting that you haven't met yet or something like that, okay? But um, yeah, Pile 2 with the High Priestess here, I feel like you guys are... Yeah, your person sees you as someone very intuitive, okay? Um, and currently what I'm seeing is this person is also like following their intuition um to connect with you and to be with you and to like just get a hold of you somehow is what I'm getting so yeah yeah that's why when it says because intuition comes from the heart space pile too right and it says look deep within your heart and you will feel my love my love for you is as deep as the ocean so I do feel like this person taps into their heart space just to get a hold of you just to feel you um touch you yeah pile two i really don't see anything like bad in this pile like this is very beautiful it's just like for you guys i'm seeing it's just like a waiting game but i don't see that it's gonna be like that for long pile two with the eight of cups i do feel like your person could be currently walking away from something okay in order to have this new beginning of love with you so they could be walking away from old cycles they could be walking away from their old self okay because i do see that there has been a transformation so yeah you guys and look there's a lot there's a spark here right your person feels a spark with you pile too so very beautiful stuff and then we have compatibility and spiritual strength so you guys yeah this is like a very spiritual pile um i do feel like your union will be very sacred and i also feel like this uh this connection is spiritual as well um like it's getting together for a reason okay so I do feel like you guys are very compatible. It's funny you have compatibility, but you also have the spark card. Um, yeah, and it has like the two matches lit, right? I do feel like you guys ignite one of like each other, <laughs> all right? And with the spiritual strength, I really do feel like it could be that you guys both awakened each other, like, or one of you guys awakened the other. So it could be that whoever's watching Pile 2, you could have awakened this person or made them see um the light somehow because there has been transformation here a lot of it too is what i'm seeing and you guys are headed towards the ten of cups pile too so just bear that in mind this is a, i don't know what else to say you guys this person just thinks the world of you and they like really what they're coming through with right now is like they really want to come towards you they really want to come towards you really bad. And I feel like my Queen of Cups is just waiting here. <laughs> Some whoever my feminine energy is in this connection, you guys are troopers for waiting. Um 
and I do see that this is going to happen soon, you guys. So I do feel that right now things could be hidden from you. So I do feel like this is going to come unexpected, uh, pile two, but just be ready. Pile two. Can I get another one? How is this person currently thinking and feeling for my pile two uh, person? Pile two. Yeah, look at this new life. Oh my god, that's so beautiful. 9, 10, 11. Yeah, and we have two 12s here, and we also have the Empress. So there's like three threes, three, three, three. So, and three is all about co creation, you guys. So there, you guys are definitely moving towards a new life. The Ten of Cups together, right? Because we have two people here with a creation. This is a baby. It doesn't have to be that, but it's just, it's new life, you guys. You guys are going to go towards a new life. This person wants to have a new life with you. I And I, like I said, currently they are walking away from old stuff. So, um, yeah, this can be baggage from the past. This could be like their old self, whatever it may be, pile two. It's going to be different for all of you guys. But this person is walking away from that so that they could have a new life with you. Um, very beautiful stuff, pile two. I love it. I think I'm going to leave it there. I have to say, that was such a beautiful pile. I, I absolutely love it. Let me know down below what you guys are doing for the New Year's. And yeah, loves, I'll see you guys in a couple of days. All right. Um, I think in a couple of days I'll upload messages from Spirit because for some reason I've tried to the past two weeks and they haven't been allowing me to upload that. Anyways, that's a long story, but <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Bye, my loves. Hey, pile three, for you guys that chose the Amazonite um, heart-shaped crystal, let's go ahead and see what is it that your person is currently thinking and feeling towards you. Now, I did um, pull a heart-shaped message for every pile, so I'm going to go ahead and start with that. And for you guys, pile three, we have look inside yourself, examine what is causing you to feel this way. That is... Yeah, that is very interesting energy, pile three. So look inside yourself, examine what is causing you to feel this way. Pile three, for whoever picked this pile, I do feel like, um, so I'm getting two messages. That could be a message from your person, but I also feel like that could definitely be a message from spirit. So we're about to see what's going to come out, but pile three, I feel like if you pick this pile, then you might be feeling a certain energy um, and I don't know, for some reason it could, I'm not getting, for some of you guys, okay, this won't resonate with all of you guys, but it could be for some of you guys, you're, you're feeling like worried or you're feeling like maybe stressed or something like that, anxious about something. And really what spirit and your person are trying to say is like, um, they, they want you to analyze as to why you're feeling that way, to th really think about it. Like, think of the root or the cause of the problem, and as soon as you think about it in that way, that's how you can find a solution to that. All right, my love, so let's go ahead and see. Maybe we can get a clearer picture as to why my pile three is feeling a certain way within themselves. So we have the four of cups in the reverse. We have the seven of wands, okay, we have the Five of Cups, okay, and we have the Magician, this is so beautiful, okay, let me get the, oh, and it's very crooked, so give me one second, Liz, <laughs> I didn't even realize how crooked it is. I hope you guys can see that a, a little bit better. I think that's better, right? Okay. So give me one second, pile three. Okay. 
Okay, pile three. I'm getting two different messages for this pile. Um, or not really like two different messages, but like mixed energy. So for I don't always pick up my feminine energy when I'm doing these types of readings. It's usually just your person's, but I am picking up both. So what I'm seeing though, pile three in a nutshell, like the way that your person is thinking and feeling about you and this connection is they do want to come towards you. And I have to say pile three, there is some sort of like, there's a very determined energy um, around your person as of right now. I feel like your person is going through this boost of confidence, pile three, to come towards you. That's how bad they want it, pile three. So it's, it's, and then you know what? I'm not getting that it's like impulsive. Like this is something that, um, so it doesn't matter if you're like, whether your person has been impulsive in the past or not, this is something that they have actually thought about that they, this person wants to come towards you really bad, no matter what. Um, I'm almost like seeing, so what I'm seeing here, you guys is like this four of cups, right? This, like, ugh, this guy is like praying, like, I want this cup. Like it could be that this person could have had other options or even you guys pile three could have other options but you guys continue to like pray for each other or like come back to each other for whatever reason okay now with it in reverse it's like your person's like okay i'm done praying like i'm gonna go for it like not that your person isn't praying anymore to have you or isn't like wishing for it to have you but they're like now they're in the energy of like, let me do it. Let me do something about it. I'm not going to sit here and just be on my knees or like ask, you know, the divine. Uh, not that that's a bad thing. I'm actually like, I sorry, I want to laugh because it's a bit silly, like the energy that's coming out and <laughs> the message because I've never had a message like this, but it's almost like this person's like, I have to do something about it. Like, let me get up. Um, because the next card out is the seven of wands. So it's like this person is literally willing to do whatever it takes and fight any obstacle to come towards you. Now I see this image and then I see this one and it's funny. I'm connecting that with what we had in the beginning where it says examine, examine what is causing you to feel this way. So I do see my feminine energy. Like maybe you're not aware that your person is doing all of this that they're actually fighting for you or act they're actually wanting to come towards you because like i see um i see a feminine energy that's like very upset okay like oh my god nothing is happening nothing is going the right way like kind of a little bit I'm not trying to offend anyone, Pile 3, so please, please, please do not think that. Um, it's gotten, but Pile 3, it has gotten to the point, for some of you guys, it's gotten to, like, self-pity a little bit, okay? Again, Pile 3, that's not for all of you guys. Don't come for me, I am just the messenger, okay? And it's okay to feel your emotions, please. Um, pile 3, don't, don't think that I'm sitting here thinking that you guys are just crying all the time and that... Uh, you're overthinking because that happens to everyone everyone all right so yeah pile three um but i will say and i feel like for if you guys are feeling like that it's because you guys don't know everything that's going on right so you can't help it like you guys are feeling like that because you cannot help it and you feel like no one cares about you this person doesn't care about you and like the message from spirit is like well, look inside as to why you're feeling this way so there is a message here for it could be just for one person or just for a few of you some of you guys are really 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 deep in your emotions some of you guys are even regretting um maybe that some situation happened i don't know pile three like it could have been that something came between you and your person all right but i'm telling you right now what i'm getting from this energy is like this person wants you um, I see a very strong masculine energy, whoever this is, like, their confidence is rising by the day. Um, and I have to say, it's it's a very beautiful confidence because the solar plexus chakra, blah, 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 can I say that? <laughs> the solar plexus chakra, pile three, um, is the chakra that holds our confidence, how we, how we view ourselves, how we feel about ourselves. It even holds our sexual energy, okay? 
um, us being intimate, like besides sex as well, us being able to be intimate. And this person is allowing that to get access. It's allowing, like, whoever your person is, pile three, it, I don't know who's doing this, but the solar plus, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Can I say it? The solar plexus, blah, blah. <laughs> I'm done. I'm just done. All right, cool. The solar chakra, okay, for some reason I can't say it today. I've said it before, but anyways, <laughs> that chakra is being like awakened right now. Um, yeah, very intensely. And like I have to say, pile three, this person is manifesting you for whatever reason. And well, I do feel it's because they want you so bad, right? It's not just for whatever reason. Like they, they, they do love you. I feel like this person wants you really bad. Um, it's almost like this person's almost like, come to me. <laughs> like, kind of. Um, and it's not that they're actually like sitting there like doing that. Okay. But it's like with their mind, they, they do want to come towards you pile three. It's very beautiful energy. Um, I am getting the energy that for some of them, they could be saving some money. Okay. As of right now, because that is the underlying energy. So it could be that some of them maybe are being careful with their finances as of right now for whatever reason. Oh gosh. Yeah. Your person is like, literally on fire <laughs> in a good way in a good way pile three not in a bad way this is yeah i'm almost getting i have to say this is like the only like sad card mm -hmm. yeah for some of you guys it could be that your person is feeling this way okay that maybe they still regret some things that they've done all right um oh there's another message coming through pile three give me one second sorry pile three you know, I have to say, this is only going to resonate for some of you guys, um, but it says examine what is causing you to feel this way. I am getting that someone watching this pile is still thinking about the mistakes that happened within your connection with this person in the past, okay? Um, so even if you are with this person right now, whether you guys are in communication or not, I feel like someone is still holding on to something something bad that happened in the past if there was something like a situation that broke between you guys like i said something that came between you guys um someone is still thinking about it okay and i have to say pile three i'm not saying that this has to be done overnight okay if this message is resonating with you but you do have to let that go um yeah, pile three, if you want this new beginning with this person, because I do see that this person is now very serious about you, please use your intuition always. But there is a message here for someone that, yeah, if you are feeling that way or like you keep feeling down, spirit is really wanting you to like, hey, look within yourself. Like, why are you feeling down? Is it because you keep thinking about this past situation or you keep thinking about the things that went wrong? Um, and maybe you're supposed to pile three. If you have to go through this energy, please, please go through it. Please feel it. Please cry. Please let it out because you do have to release it, like I said, and even maybe forgive your person for what happened. Um, yeah. And like I said, for some of you guys, it could be that this person is still, yeah, that's another message that's coming out. It could be that this person is still, um, fighting off this energy because when i'm looking at the seven of wands ironically enough this guy is stabbing the wand into this the five of cups is all about regret okay so and he's stabbing this regret and it's almost like another message that's coming through is that your person doesn't want you to think about this anymore um and they don't themselves don't want to think about it anymore like this is what needs to go in the trash this this old whatever happened pile three okay because it's time for new like that is what i'm seeing even you guys even have the number 10 you actually have it twice i didn't even notice that this is the number 28 and that adds up to a 10 too so you have 10 10 here and 10s are what lead to the new beginning because 10 is the ending of the cycle right so that you can have a new beginning the number one so um pile three yeah that is a side message here from spirit that like, and they're helping you guys get through this. Like I said, it's not something that is done overnight. Allow yourself to feel these emotions and let it, let it out. Um, yeah, pile three, because I see that like, even your person is like, I'm done with that. Like, I don't want to think about what happened. Like that was the past. I made that mistake. 
Um, and it's not it, at pile three. I have to say, I hope I'm not misconstruing that message. Like, it's not that your person is making it seem like they never did it. Okay, whatever mistake that they made or whatever happened, they made. Okay, they know that they they have. They want to get past it now, but it's not like they're thinking like, oh my god, it never happened. Nothing like that. Um, they they very well know what they did. Um, if there was something here, I am seeing that. So that is just a side message, pile three. Um, but yeah, this person is definitely manifesting you. Now, overall energy is the eight of wands. So there is a lot of messages that are coming through for this person. Because eight of wands is all about the universe coming through with messages and synchronicities and signs. So it's like your person right now, they can't stop receiving these signs. I do feel like this person constantly receives signs about you. It could be through music. It could be through to, like anything that they watch. It could be through um, things that they read. It could be through anything, pile three. But I do see that they continue to receive a lot of messages. And there's also something about this person wanting to communicate with you. Okay. Um, unless you guys are already in communication, but there is something that this person might want to tell you. Now, another thing that I'm seeing this person, um, like how they're thinking and feeling is their crowning energy is the page of pentacles. So the page of pentacles is all about offering you something. I, I do feel like this person wants to offer you something at this time. <clears throat> it can be anything. It'll be different for all of you guys. Okay. For some of you guys, it could be communication. For others of you guys, it could be like, I'm seeing something stable, like something tangible, okay? Um, and there's also a message here about trust. Like this person wants you to trust them. That That is a big like energy here actually is that this person wants you to trust them again. Um, so again, pile three, if this person did make a mistake, um... If they messed up or something, obviously always use your intuition, pile three. But if this person did something, it's like they're wanting to do everything in their power so that you can trust them again. That is another message that's coming out. They really want you to trust them. That is like, that's actually very important to them more, more so than like, I don't know, for this is a beautiful person, I have to say, because like they really care about your trust. I'm seeing trust in two different cards here. All right. Um, I'm seeing it in the Ten of Pentacles and I'm seeing it in the Page of Pentacles. And it's like, yeah, it, yeah, like they want to make sure that you trust them again first before moving on into, um, into this new beginning. And I have to say like, that's, that's coming from like a very pure heart space, right? Pile three, like they don't want you to come in or they don't want to come um, make, how do I say it? They don't want to build a connection with you again if if they're aware that you still don't trust them, if that makes sense. And, and I do like, obviously they have to be flexible with you if they did hurt you, pile three, okay? So like I said, pile three, um, if you need this person to be patient with you, then you tell them that, okay? That's definitely okay. And pile three, I have to say, I definitely see this person doing that. Like, that's how much they care is that if you tell them like, hey, I need some time to like, yes, I want to be with you, but I need some time to rebuild this, they will definitely be down. Um, I do see that. And if they're not pile three, then this person isn't ready for a connection, okay? Um, sorry to say it like that, but but yeah, if this person isn't willing to respect that maybe you are the one that needs time, because I, I, am, I am sensing that pile three, that some of my feminine energy are the ones that need the time to rebuild this connection. Like, yes, you want to, but you want to take it slow. Um, yeah, and if this person isn't willing to accept that, then um, yeah, then, then that's, that's not okay. <laughs> Um, and vice versa, maybe this person needs time, okay? But I'm more so getting that for my feminine energy. Now, the Nine of Cups, I just love this because this person, the Nine of Cups is all about wish fulfillment. They do see you as their wish fulfillment. It's like you are the prize, pile three, somehow. Um, and look at this. Above it is the Six of Wands. So you guys, this person is willing to, like, they want to be victorious. Like, I see this person fighting. I see this person manifesting. I see this person not being in an energy of just, like, let me just not do anything. Like, they're, they're done with not doing anything. 
they're like in get up and go mode. Okay, let's get up and do something about it. Let's get up and um, let me do this to move forward. Let me do that to move forward. Because look at this energy, chivalry. And with the solar plexus chakra, I said it right. Eh. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I'm like, why can't I say that? Um, With this energy, you guys, this person, this kind of reminds me of the Knight of Cups. It's like this person does want to come towards you romantically eventually okay once you're okay with them again um and I love that I feel like maybe some of them might even get you flowers oh that's so sweet um or take you out on a date or something but it's very beautiful stuff pile three like this person wants to wow you in some way okay and that could be why some of them are saving up money because I do see an energy of somebody saving up money which is very beautiful um I'm also seeing that like this person sees you like I'm, I keep getting a lot of messages for you guys pile three I'm so sorry if I'm like going over time but um this person sees you as someone very valuable very very valuable and it hurts them when you're hurt so um I don't know pile three I just have to say like I'm getting very beautiful energy from this person like I just I even am like oh you're so sweet <laughs> um yeah, and I have to say, Pile 3, like, some, like, people do change, um, you know, some people don't, and some people do, and I feel like this person is just, wow, like, they're doing that, like, they're doing it, uh, they are, I don't know, I just, I'm really in love with this energy, Pile 3, um, and then we have chemistry, yeah, I love that, so I do feel like this person, like, some of them could like chemistry, okay, in real life, like, maybe science, I do feel like this person is a very, uh, analytical and logical person, but for others of you guys, I'm also getting that this person is very, uh, like, you guys just click, there's a lot of chemistry between you guys, and there's, like, chance to build for it, right, so I love that. Yeah, pile three. This is amazing. I don't know what else to say. I'm in love with this pile. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get you guys another um, card. How is this person currently thinking and feeling towards my pile three in this connection? This is too many. I kind of just want one. Can I have one, please? yeah i love this so we have time to go yeah you guys and i really love this card because what it's showing is it's showing um a woman going through the fog to go through that door right and i feel like that's exactly what your person is doing you guys it's like i can even see it in the energy it's like it's go time like didn't we keep saying that during the reading it's go time and it's like it is I, I do feel pile three there is like I don't know there is this sense that maybe this person could be walking away from something okay in order to pursue you so um they could like I said this person is making moves pile three like that is what I keep saying is this person is making moves to go ahead and manifest you to go ahead and come towards you like maybe even to save up money so this person is leaving okay um yeah like whatever they need to leave in order to go through this like i do feel like maybe there could be some unknown here because there is fogginess but they are going to go through this new door in order to have like a new beginning like i said pile three okay um so yeah, it's like, it's long overdue, right? For others of you guys, it could be that maybe you guys are feeling like it's time to go. And like I said, loves, there is a message here where um, if you're feeling like that, like really, like follow your intuition. So um, you guys, you know, I'm always honest in my readings, okay? I don't like to give fluffy readings or anything that I don't see. So if for whatever reason, like there is something about... I don't know, that's holding, that that you're feeling like you can't do this or whatever, and you just feel like this, it's better for you not to, then you make the choices best for you, pile three, okay? But for most of you guys, pile three, I feel like this is something that's very beautiful. Um, yeah, I do feel like this is going to be unexpected whenever this happens, whenever, 
I don't know, this person comes back or I don't know if they reach out to you or something. It is going to be unexpected for some of you guys. But uh, this is a person that has their eyes on the prize, I have to say. And this is a person that is willing to, um, yeah, that is willing to come towards you. So in, in the right way, because they're gaining confidence, pile three. So like I said, always use your intuition, okay? I don't even know why I was shuffling cards. Um, but yeah, pile three. So just take a time out, like I said. For some reason, I am getting that energy that someone here is like second guessing or... Yeah, that's what it is. That's the energy is you guys are second guessing. Like, is this right? So like I said, loves, if you, you know, if you're feeling like that, let's stop watching tarot like sorry to say it i know some of you guys might not like that but stop and i'm getting this for a feminine energy i'm actually not getting this from your person your person is not second guessing it's you so for whoever is i've never had this message before pile three if one of you guys okay my feminine energy if you guys are second guessing please take a step back um take a step back don't Please don't continue watching tarot um, and like really tune into your own feelings. Like what is it that and be honest with yourselves as well. OK, this is a general reading. So if you're really getting the vibe that your person is not being genuine or that your person, um, I don't know, that this is something that's unhealthy or that um, like you, you're not seeing improvement or something like that, it just you guys know because it's your situation, okay, pile three, if there really is something that you feel like this is a problem, and like, I can't get past it, or something like that, then you guys know what you need to do, like, your health comes first, okay, but for others of you guys, I do see that there could be an energy around you where you're just overthinking things, and you're just, um, I'm not saying that this person couldn't have hurt you, if they did, they did, right, but it could be that you're too attached to what happened in the past, like the hurt that happened in the past, and that's what's stopping you from moving forward. Some of you guys do need, like with the time to go card, like that is what I'm seeing is that you need to leave the past in the past in order to go through that door. Yeah, it might feel like a little foggy. You might feel like, oh my God, what is going to happen, you know, but um, that is something that you need to do if you do want a new beginning with this person, pile three. And like I said, it's going to take time. So if you decide that you do want to be with this person, as I said before, loves, if you need time, then you tell them that you need time and they need to respect that, okay? Um, but yeah, that's just for a few of you guys. All right, my loves, I think I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to... Um, let me know down below what you guys are doing for New Year's, okay? And I will see you guys in a couple of days from now. I think I'm going to upload messages from Spirit because I've tried to for the past two weeks and it just has not been... I've recorded, but they haven't let me upload it. it it's really weird. I'll talk about it next time. But yeah, my loves, I will talk to you guys later. Bye!